Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style channel and today we are going to talk about daily crypto market update and we will we will figure out what's going on with the stock market is it short squeeze, bull trap, bull trend what's going on with the with the stock market today let's let's move yeah please subscribe for youtube channel and click like button to get all my updates let's move to trading view trading view and uh, if you want to learn about trading view setup just go to the description and uh, there is the link about my training and also other links about all my trainings okay it's easy but it's yeah it's simple but it's not easy right remember because the emotions involved and you have to control your emotions and and control your discipline I'm using, let me briefly mention about my setup. I'm using just MACD indicator. This is MACD indicator. Green line, it's a bullish trend. It's MACD green line. White line is a signal line. When green line change color to red line, it's a bearish crossover. It's a bearish trend. When red line change color to green, it's a bullish crossover. It's a bullish trend. It has yellow line, it's a zero line between bullish zone and bearish zone. Green line, it's a uh, green uh, green histogram, it's a, it's a bullish, red histogram, it's a bearish. I'm using also moving, average, moving averages and buy and sell script. Buy and sell script, I think it's easy. Moving averages, it's a uh, white line, it's a May 200. Yellow line, it's a May 20. Uh, Red line it's a May 10 and green line it's a May 5. That's uh, that's simple. Okay, let's start. And remember, we follow the market, we don't fight with the market, we don't guess, we don't have crystal ball, we just follow the market. Just follow the market. If market change direction, we change direction also. Okay, and for swing trading, I'm using daily and four hours time frame. For uh, intraday trading, I'm using five minutes, 15 minutes, and one hour. This simple trading style works for any ETFs, for any time frames, for any securities. Not for ETFs, for any securities, for any stocks, ETFs, cryptos, any securities. Okay, let's start SPY. SPY daily. SPY daily last bar like looks like it's a hammer bar bearish hammer bar but okay ma5 did bullish crossover bullish crossover it's a bullish trend macd did bullish crossover it's a bullish trend still buy signal on a script right all indicators in the bullish mode the bullish mode bullish trend let's check four hours four hours similar story last bar was red was red yeah half day it was green and half day was red right it's kind of and it's a bearish because the previous bar is shorter than the last bar the last bar close lower than previous bar it's kind of bearish and then you have sell signal on this on, on the script right but on macd it's still bullish it's still bullish and we're still above may 200 Still above May 200 and May 200 can be strong support. It May 200 it can be strong support and it can be rejected from May 200. Okay, still bullish on four hours. Still bullish on four hours. Let's move to one hour. One hour it's different. On one hour it's already bearish, right? Sell signal in the script. Bearish crossover MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20. Last bar closed below uh, below to MA20. Still above MA200. MACD did bearish crossover. Bearish, it's a bearish bearish signal on one hour. It's a bearish signal, bearish trend. It wants to have some correction. It wants to have it. It was do you remember the yeah. From the Friday, it was very far. Last bar on Friday was very far from May 20, and now it came back 
it connected to mate volume. Now it cancel off, it can go to mate 200 and bounce from mate 200. We'll see. On 4 hours and daily, still bullish trend. On 1 hour, it's a bearish. Okay, let's move to Q's. Let's move to Q's. Q's daily. Oh, I'm sorry, I have that still. Actually, it's interesting. I will show you. Let, let's keep this red link. I will I will show you one, one thing. Okay, daily on Q's. Daily on Q's, we still have bullish trend, right? MACD, green, bullish. MA5 did bullish crossover, buy signal on the, buy, buy signal on the script. Still bullish trend on daily. No changes, bullish trend. Let's go to 4 hours. 4 hours. I'm sorry, it's extended hours. Let me move to regular. This is regular bullish trend. Bullish trend on 4 hours. Bullish trend on MACD. MACD. Bullish trend on uh, moving averages. It kind of it was kind of far from 820, right? The last previous bar, and it's still far from 820. And maybe maybe it wants to connect to 820 and bounce from it. Yeah, the last bar kind of closed below the previous bar. Still bullish trend on MACD on histogram on, on all indicators. Bullish trend on four hours. Let's check one hour for Qs. One hours for Qs. Sell signal. Um. Kind of MACD and M M moving averages wants to have some correction, wants to have bearish crossover. Last bar closed below May 200 because it was very far. Look at it, it was so far from May 20 and it wants to connect to May 20. It wants to connect to May 20. On one hour, it wants to have correction. Let me go back to SPY again. It's okay, no, let's move to. Uh, actually, we are on the queues. Let, but yeah, we will do summary and I will show you some market crash for you. Let's move to DIA. DIA, DIA, it's a Dow Jones, Dow Jones daily. MACD, green line. Green line it's a bullish, still below zero line, but it's it's a bullish. MA5 bearish cross bullish crossover, even over MA 200 MA20. The last bar still above all moving averages. Dow Jones more bullish because you see the last bar, the red bar, it didn't close below. Actually, yeah, it, yeah, it's a it's yeah, the Dow is still the most stronger stronger index bullish signal bullish signal on all indicators no changes still buy signal on daily let's move to four hours four hours is a different story right four hours difference oh, actually on MACD still bullish still bullish still buy signal still MA5 still bullish yeah not different story still bullish Signal on four hours daily and four hours still bullish signal. Let's move to one hour. One hour it's a different story because in one hour it wants to have some correction. We have sell we have sell we have sell signal on the uh, I'm sorry. We have sell signal on the script. MA5 did bearish crossover. Uh MA yeah. MACD did bearish crossover, it's a bearish signal on one hour, but MA20 did bullish crossover, it's a bullish trend, it's a bullish trend for MA. That's why I am I am expecting it will be short correction on, the, on one hour, maybe tomorrow it will be kind of short correction on one hour, and it will bounce and it will move um, bullish, that's what we... That's what I see on the chart because of the MA20 did bullish crossover. It's a bullish trend. 
it's a bullish trend even we have all indicators say shows us bearish signal but it, ma20 can can do curl and can change direction to bearish we'll see if we change direction to bearish it will be bearish direction now it's a bearish trend bearish bearish signal just bearish signal bearish signal on one hour only let's move to iwm iwm russell 2000 daily russell 2000 daily macd bullish trend last bar about all moving averages bullish may 5 did bullish crossover and buy signal on the script bullish trend on daily on, on for the iwm four hours same story bullish trend on macd bullish trend on the on the uh, moving averages buy signal on the script bullish trend and it, it touched the may 200 looks like it wants to bounce from may 200 and connect to may 20 maybe because it's very far from may 20. let's move to one hour one hour is the different story four hours and daily is a bullish one hour it wants to have correction May 5 ready for bearish crossover sell signal on the script uh, MACD bearish crossover it's a bearish signal on one hour it wants to have correction let's move to Apple 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 daily sorry let me Apple daily Apple daily bullish signal on MACD MA5 still didn't didn't make bullish crossover Apple is still kind of weak still kind of weak MACD did already gave us bullish crossover Ma moving averages no okay bullish based on the MACD it's a bullish for us it's a bullish MACD is a main indicator right? it's a bullish but we like to remember we like the when all indicators align in the same direction that's what we like when some indicators if when it's like 50 50 it's it's not a 99% confirmation we need 99% confirmation all indicators should be aligned in the same same direction okay let's move to four hours apple four hours macd bullish crossover bullish trend on the MA5, it did bullish crossover, bullish trend. A last bar, it's kind of bearish bar because it closed below the previous bar. But still bullish trend on four hours. Well, daily and four hours bullish trend. Let's check one hour. One hour, it wants to have some correction. On the script, it's a sell signal. MA5 wants to do bearish crossover. Uh, MACD wants to do bearish crossover kind of kind of it wants to have some it wants to have some correction right on one hour it wants to have correction it wants to have correction on one hour okay let's move to tesla let's move to tesla on daily on daily it's a similar like apple right very similar like apple bullish crossover on macd bullish signal on the script it's a buy signal ma5 ready to do bullish crossover not not confirmed yet but it's ready for it on daily on four hours it's a bullish right it's bullish on four hours macd did bullish crossover on four hours May 5 did bullish crossover buy signal bullish trend bullish trend on four hours on daily on one hour on one, on one hour is bullish also but it's ready for bearish crossover for ready for bearish crossover sell signal on the script MA5 ready to do bearish crossover MACD still bullish kind of yes Tesla is kind of strong right okay that's a kind of strong bullish on all indicators tesla okay let's do summary let's do summary let's go back to cues 
let me do let me add some water let's do summary daily all indicator all indexes daily bullish trend on four hours all indexes bullish trend on one hour all indexes want to have some correction on one hour they all have sell signal and they all want to have some correction i believe it will be short time correction maybe only tomorrow we'll see if we are going to have huge sell sell off tomorrow it will be it will be larger correction we will see but if no huge sell off tomorrow it will be short maybe it will be short correction tomorrow on one 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 hour uh, time frame and it will bounce because daily and four hours bullish that's what we have i'm i i see on the charts i believe it's a st it's, it's a bullish trend bullish trend bullish mode uh, it's not a bull trap it's uh, it, it should be bullish mode the all technical indicators show us that it's a bullish mode only on on a daily time frame and four hours not on one hour one hour is a short-term correction right okay let me show you uh, i did publish uh, uh, one short video one minute video yesterday you can check in the in the uh in my in my in my my channel uh what it shows on the weekly time frame cues weekly time frame cues let's see let me show you Let me. I want to show you uh, the market prediction. I don't like to do predictions, but uh, I don't have pistol ball. But I see on the chart. That's what I have on the chart, right? Actually, no, it doesn't work this way. I want it. It works like this one. Okay. Look at it. Today, yeah. Last Friday we had bearish crossover on weekly time frame for Qs, right? weekly time frame for cues this is bearish crossover uh maybe let me yeah yeah you see that this this pink this red red circle it's a bearish crossover ma20 just confirm bearish to crossover and let's go let's go back uh let's go back when we observe the same bearish crossover let's go back for very far right very far <clears throat> bullish crossover and bearish crossover bearish crossover happened on october 2008 14 years ago we saw the previous bearish crossover the same scenario and what happened after that after that we we we, we saw we had market crash we had market crash double bottom double crash and after that in november 2009 we had bullish crossover and after that for for 14 years we didn't see any bearish crossover and just last friday we saw it first time for last 14 years let's go back again one more time bearish crossover and made 20 did bearish crossover over 200 in october 2008 right now let's move let's move 14 years 14 years move it up move it up move it up bull the longest bull run bull market in the stock market history in the stock market history the longest and finally we received bearish crossover again and may 20 did bearish crossover again and i believe we will have market crash this year 
we will have market crash this year. Not right now, not right now, because you see, we already mentioned, uh, let me show you, yeah. Right now, looks like it's not on the table, because the price action is downtrend, right? Price action is downtrend, and we have bullish divergence, bullish divergence. It can happen, it can destroy bullish divergence. But as of now, for short term, it should be bull, bull kind of, uh, bull trap. Yeah, weekly, I can say it will be bull trap. It will, for, for investors, it will show the bull kind of bull run. Investors, okay, we are going to go bull. And after that, it will be bull crash. It will be market crash. That's what can happen. I don't know. I don't have crystal ball. That's what I, sh I, I, I see on the chart. That's what I, I decided to share to you. And I also, yeah, yeah, please watch the, please do watch the short, uh, short video, my shorts. That's all. Thank you so much. Let me move back and let me show you disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. Please read it. Thank you for watching simple trading style video. I do publish also daily updates for stock ETFs, cryptos, um, daily, weekly, monthly. Please subscribe for all my channels. Click like button to support the channel. I really appreciate all your efforts and thank you so much and good luck by now.